So yeah, I'm home um, from Miami, unfortunately. A um, little bit of funny story before I do this recap. Um, as you saw, I did do the Miami Dolphins recap from week one. And um, as I was doing the recap, as you can imagine, and around the 20, 21st minute of that video, I got emails saying that my flight got canceled. Yeah, my flight got canceled, so I ended up spending another day or two down in Florida, as I would definitely love. So, um, regardless of that, I had such an amazing time. Season 3, big success. Huge success. I'm proud of the work I've done and the entertainment I've put out for you guys. Now, with that being said, um, it's week 3 of the NCAA, pretty close to week 2 of the NFL season. Actually, week 2 is already here. It's just... It just wrapped up pretty much. Um, but anyway, um, just thought it was like a quick funny update. Uh, nothing really much. But anyway, this video might not take, this video is not going to take too long. Um, all you got to know is that it's the Miami Hurricanes dominance against Bethune Cookman Wildcats. We start off the game with a touchdown drive as um, as Tyler Van Dyke passed, passes. All he did was pass in this entire um, in this entire drive. With the exception of two runs, both of them from Henry Parrish Jr. He passed to Jacoby George for 13 yards, another one for Kobe Yards for five. Uh, Van Dyke actually ran for six, so that's a nice run there. Really nice footwork there for uh, Tyler Van Dyke. Then passes to Henry Parrish, and then Parrish ran for 10 yards. Van Dyke passes it to Brashard Smith for six yards. And then next thing you know, we, we're already at uh, Bethune Cookman, um, at the Bethune Cookman side. So, really quick plays there. Next play is Henry Parrish for five yards. And then after that, Tyler Van Dyke uh, decides to take it in for himself. Touchdown Hurricanes. Borgales kicks it up for a PAT. It's good. It's good right there. Then a defense did pretty good. Turnover on uh, downs, which is nice. Um, which is really nice. Then it's our turn. 11 plays, 93 yards for the Hurricanes. Touchdown. So, so let's see here. Henry Paris runs for 15 yards. That's good enough for the first down. Uh, incomplete. Paris, three yards. Van Dyke, now at third down. Uh, pass for 20 yards for Xavier Restrepo. 20 yards down. That's good. Good stuff. Um, we lost a yard from the Parrish run. Tyler Van Dyke passed for 11 yards for first down. And we're, already, we're back at the Bethune-Cookman side. That's Jacoby George for 11 yards. Uh, Jay Allen running for four. Um, Tyler Van Dyke completes for Restrepo for 26 yards. And now we're at the Bethune-Cookman 15. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay Allen uh, loss of one. Uh, Van Dyke passed for, uh, for Cam McCormick for eight yards. And then AJ Allen ran for eight yards to the end zone. Touchdown Hurricanes. PAT is up and good. 14-0 Hurricanes already. Defense showed up the next next possession against Bethune Cookman. Um, which is Bethune Cookman just has no answers. It's you know, what do you expect? Then after that, another touchdown drive. So already we're getting some good stuff in. We, we got two rushing touchdowns, one from Tyler Van Dyke, and one from a Jay, um, a Jay Allen. But this one, what about this one? Seven plays, 71 yards, and only took two minutes and 47 seconds. A Jay Allen ran for 16 yards. Then after that, Tyler Van Dyke passed to Jacoby George for eight. Second down and sec, second down and sec, second down and two. Incomplete. Third down and two. Uh, ran for six is a Jay Allen. Six yards up. Bethune Cookman uh, territory. Then after that, uh, Allen runs again for five yards, and Van Dyke pass to Restrepo for 21 yards. Then after that, Tyler Van Dyke pass to Jacoby George for 15 yards for a touchdown. So touchdown Hurricanes, and Borg Alice missed the PAT. That was a bad kick. So no PAT score there, and we're and just that we we just had to leave it with 20 to nothing. So terrible stuff there. Three and out for Bethune Cookman. Next up, 
is another touchdown drive. So Hurricanes just be merciless against Bethune Cookman. Um, almost every uh, play is enough for the first down. Almost every play. We've got Donald Cheney Jr. for 26 yards. After that, he did it again for 17 yards. He nearly did it again for 9 yards. And then eventually, he ran for the touchdown. Donald Cheney did it all in that possession. Touchdown Hurricanes, Cheney Jr. And Borgales this time pulls through. It's now 27 to um, 27 to nothing. Three and out for Bethune Cookman as um, as Bethea was sacked by Lichtenstein. Really nice sack there. I mean, oh my gosh, what a nice sack. Then, next possession. Almost a touchdown drive if it wasn't for a couple of things. All right. Um, Van Tyke passed to Kobe Young for nine yards. That's not enough. Cheney ran for seven. That's first down. Van Tyke passed to Ray Ray Joseph. But that's but that's a bad play there. Four yards lost. After that, Henry, Henry Paris Jr. ran for nine. Tyler Van Tyke passed to Kobe Young for 11 yards. And that's good for a first down. Tyler Van Dyke, incomplete. Henry Parrish Jr. ran for 11. And then this play happened. Tyler Van Dyke pass complete to Kobe Young for 13 yards. Kobe Young fumbled in the end zone. And it was recovered by Iverson Clement from, um, from Bethune Cookman. Now, during that play, there was a... There was, it could have gone a couple of ways. One, that could have been an incomplete pass, but then I look at the replay again, he took two steps um, after catching the football, so indicating that he did have complete control of the football, which is unfortunate. However, there was another situation, and that situation was um, one of the defense, pl I, did, I don't know his name completely, because I don't really, I don't know much of the new cook man, as you could imagine. He was called for targeting. He was called for targeting, uh, I think it's Johnny Harris III. So Johnny Harris III, number eight, um, as I'm going to verify, I'm going to verify the roster right now as I'm talking about this game, about this play um, as well. So, um, so um, as that play was happening, there was a, there was a whistle, a penalty, on Johnny Harris the third, yeah, it is. It is Harris the third. So, um, you're welcome there. He was called for targeting. Yes, he was called for targeting initially, and the referees uh, will has was going to do a review. Uh, I don't know. It looked very close. It could have gone either way. The helmet. I mean, he lunged in. As Kobe Young is trying to make the play towards the end zone, did he break the plane? No. Um, now, did he lunge down to Kobe Young? I think he did, but I think he was just trying to make a play, Harris. Um, but the definition of targeting on the rule book is you have to deliberately um, hit them in the head from your helmet. Uh, helmet to helmet is just, if it's heinous, uh, egregious. So, I'm not sure if, if he, that was his intent. I personally don't think so. But, regardless, the bad news is um, the referees um, got together, well, not got together, they, they, con they concluded that it, there was no targeting and uh, Bethune Cookman um, got the ball because of the fumble. So um, I don't know. That was I don't know. I don't know what you call it. By the way, three and out for Bethune Cookman. Really, um, but three and out. Miami used all three timeouts to get one more possession in, and it worked. Tyler Van Dyke throw for Restrepo for 23 yards, incomplete. Van Tyke Restrepo again for 24 yards. And Van Tyke pass to Brashard Smith. 
Char Smith was the guy who did, who had a 98-yard kickoff return last week against Texas A&M. Remember, I was there for that one. He 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 caught it for the 27-yard touchdown wide open for a Dallas kicks of a PAT, and we end the second quarter with 34 to nothing score halftime there. All right, but then Cookman starts the, starts us off. Um. So, Bethune Cookman, Taik Bethea, pass complete to Ting Boy for five yards. Uh, Bethea would run for four. Uh, first down there from Ting Boy, seven yards. Uh, Bethea run for four. Bethea incomplete. Uh, Bethea ran for six. Fourth down there, he pe he tried to. Um, uh, he, they went for they, and the fourth down play incomplete, um, and after that, Jimmy Robinson the third uh, loss of yard. How is it that they say incomplete when it's the fourth down? Shouldn't that mean that they were not going to be? I don't know. ESPN probably screwed that up. But regardless, they got they got something for the first. They got they got first down there in that drive. Now after that, Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Robinson the third ran, but lost three yards. And then a fumble happened. Fumble happened, and um, um, Bethune Cookman, the quarterback, got the ball back. So after that, uh, first down, uh, incomplete um, from El for um, Ellington Devano. So at that, Devano Ellington reverse. Now. There was the, so something happened in that one penalty on offside, so no play there. After that, 18 yards from LA 10. So Bethune Cookman's driving, and then, and then Bethea fumbled the football. It was forced out by um, uh, Moigona, Moigoa, Moigoa. Yeah, there we go. Francisco Moigoa. What a nice, what a nice. Punch out there, and it was recovered by Jacob Lichtenstein. So, great play there, and it's our turn. So the Hurricanes got the football back. They rem it remained shut out at that point, and after that, let's let's keep going. A J, a J Allen ran for three. Penalty on Miami on for unnecessary roughness. That was a bad penalty right there. So quarterback switch for. The Hurricanes. It's Emory Williams. Uh, Van Dyke is done for today. For tonight, no no risk for injury there. So good move there by Mario Cristobal. So Emory Williams passed to Jacoby George for five yards. Third and seventeen. Kobe Young for sixteen yards passing. Fourth and one. What does Miami do? They like to go for it. And a Jay Allen ran for six. So it's first down there. A Jay Allen ran for five more yards. Donald Cheney. Uh, Junior ran for three. John Shady tries again for eight yards. That's good enough for first. Every Williamson passed with Brashara Smith for 22 yards. A good play there. AJ Allen ran for nine yards. Um, and then we're getting close. AJ Allen ran for three. And then AJ Allen ran for four more for a touchdown. That's the second of the game. AJ Allen, four yards. PAT is good. 41 to nothing at this point. Bethune Cookman three and out, um, pretty much because there was a penalty on Bethune Cookman. Uh, it's a hold, so three and out there, so that's not good. Miami gets the football. Chris Johnson Jr. Now not Chris Johnson, the running back, you know who played for the Tennessee Titans, the Jets, and the Cardinals. There was another Chris Johnson, Chris Johnson Sr., who played for Louis for University of Louisville, the Cardinals. That he was a, I think he was a cornerback, a defense guy. That's that's the son, right there. Chris Johnson, uh, running one yard. Um, Emory Williams passed to Tyler Harold for 14 yards, and that's the end of the third quarter right there. Now at this point, uh, Chris Bolt decides to sub off some of the starters and put in the young freshmen out there to get some playing time, get ready for the college experience for the upcoming years because I think it's beneficial. I think they need it. 
Um, and I think it'll be good for them to get some college experience in. So that's a good move right there. Emory Williams passed to Ray Ray Joseph for four yards, second and six. Emory Williams passed to Ray Ray Johnson again for five, third and one. Unfortunately, it was called for offside. And, uh, and Williams was sacked by Eddie Walls third for nine. So for the first time in the game, Miami punts it. So um, after that, um, another three and outs for um, Bethune Cookman. No runs, no run yards gain, incomplete. Ran for two, and that's pretty much it for uh, Bethune Cookman's drive right there. After that, Hurricanes get the ball back. Chris Johnson uh, ran for four. Emory Williams incomplete for Tyler Harold. Emory Williams complete to Robbie Wa Robbie Washington for nine. That's the first down. Chris Johnson ran for one. Um, Emory Williams pass to Robbie Robinson. Robinson Washington, not not Robinson. Um, I keep getting I I have into my in my mind. Um, Robbie Washington for 18 yards. That's good. that's probably enough good for first down. Uh, Emory Williams pass complete to Jaleel Skinner for nine yards. Williams incomplete. Uh, that was intended for Riley Williams. Dead to that, Chris Johnson Jr. ran for five. That's good for a first down. 21 yards, Chris Johnson Jr. touchdown. Fourth rushing, four players with a rushing touchdown. Four. Van Dyke uh, and Jay Allen twice. Donald Chaney, and now Chris Johnson Jr. I can prove that to you in a couple minutes. So, good touchdown drive there. Now, after that, things get interesting. Let's see if the Hurricanes get this shutout win. Could they? Let's find out. Bethune Cookman penalty, false start. Tyler Lindsey ran for, lost for one. So, second is 16. Walter Simmons, the third, ran for 14 yards. And Walter Simmons, um, who is the there's a quarterback switch there I, I should mention Walter Simmons the third pass incomplete um, and then after that he passed to Tink Boyd for the first so there's that so that's first down there um, Walter Simmons the third uh, ran for one yard uh, Miami penalty defensive offside and that was that was the time where the Hurricanes picked off uh, Simmons that would have easily been a shutout win right there, but that was called offside and and uh, yeah, that was that was a bad move, incomplete. And at that, Terry Lindsay caught the 18-yard pass from Walter Simmons third, 18 yards, and Bethune Cookman making things interesting. He was going, they're going down for a drive. Terry Lindsay lost three. Walter Simmons passed for uh, Jovensley uh, Basil for 40 yards though. Bad, bad coverage there from the, from the defense. Now, to the benefit of the doubt, they these these kids um, with less experience on the college field as of yet, so not gonna not gonna be judgy right there. Then after that, Walter Simmons pass complete. Like I said, uh, ran for one, and then Miami calls a timeout. But through Cookman false start, and then Walter Simmons ran it himself. Stretches his left arm to on the pylon and touchdown Bethune Cookman. No shutout for Miami Hurricanes, unfortunately. Um, PAT is good from Kay Hetcher, and fortunately, there was way a little too late for that one. So Chris Johnson finishes off with a couple snaps, gets some snaps in, and then um, and that's it. There you go, forty-eight to seven Miami Hurricanes. Um, pretty uh, pretty good beatdown, pretty good dominance there against Bethune Cookman. Um, so yeah, man. So in terms of the stats, um, in terms of the stats right here, um, three quarterbacks for Bethune Cookman. I should point out uh, that Luke uh, Sprawl was the second QB playing. Um, I think. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So, uh, Tyler Van Dyke, 19 for 23, 247 yards passing rate, two touchdown passes. Um, 
So that's awesome. Two touchdown, uh, two touchdown passes for him, um, as well as Emory Williams. Nine. I'm not going there. I'm not saying that. Anyway, 102 yard passing, 9.3 average, no touchdowns, nor no interceptions, no interceptions in this game. Now for Bethune Cookman's quarterback, Walter Simmons the third. Um, no touchdown passes, no interceptions either. Three for five, 62 yards. Uh, Tyleek Bethea, five for nine, 47 yards, 5.2 average. And Luke Spraw, uh, three for three, 23 yards, 7.7 average. Um, now in terms of the running backs, running uh, rushing touchdowns, only Walter Simmons the third who was able to do that for um, for. Uh, Bethune Cookman, he was the quarterback, the third quarterback that was brought out for Bethune Cookman. Now, in terms of rushing for the Miami side, like I said, four players, four, and five total touchdowns from the rushing side. Donald Janey, uh, Jay Allen, he was he did that. Chris Johnson Jr. and Tyler Van Dyke himself, four players have a rushing touchdown three running backs three running backs Ama amazing stuff there Bethune Cookman's receiving none of them none of them have over 50 none of them the highest was uh Javensley Basil with that 40 with 40 yards and now that, and that's been enough where he had that um that big gain at the end of the game so there's that now for the Miami side Restrepo, um, definitely obvious there with six receptions, 120 yards. Rashard Smith, he, three three attempts, three receives, 55 yards. He got himself a touchdown in this game, and that happens at the second quarter, I believe. Uh, Jacoby George got himself a touchdown as well. Kobe Young had himself a pretty good day as well. Robbie Washington gained some snaps in. Tyler Harrell. Some of the guys that that we hardly ever heard of, those guys are getting some snaps in. Good stuff there. Fumbles. Kobe Young fumbled the ball. Uh, Jacob Lichtenstein recovered the fumble at the third quarter. So, um, so two fumbles from Bethune side. Um, Baik lo um, lost one, got it back, and lost one again. So there's two. That's bad. Jimmy Robinson, the third, fumbled it as well. So there you go. Iverson Clements was receiving that fumble from that end of, near the end of the th second quarter from the targeting thing. And a defense, like I said, Lichenstein did have himself a pretty good day, and and Bargoa have himself a pretty good day as well so no interceptions kick returns um and um there you go now this video did take a little longer than i had hoped for um i did dig a little deeper in it but there we go this is where we end off here i hope you enjoyed this video please if you have enjoyed this video let me know hit that like button subscribe for content because miami tg has it back when he does he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve our next opponent is next week on Saturday, 3.30 p.m. against Temple at Philadelphia School. Um, pretty high chance we're going to win this game. If, if not, I'll be deeply surprised. Temple Owls in Philadelphia. Um, Lincoln Financial Fields. How about that? Um, and yeah, folks, I'll see you guys next week. Go Canes. And uh, yeah, good night, everybody.